buckaroos and buckarettes. Um, it's nice to be back with you after a little bit of a break, and I'd like to talk to you today about inelastic collisions. Now, if you've had dynamics or you're thinking about taking dynamics, there are two flavors of collisions, and by collision I mean just two bodies banging into each other. So it could be uh, balls on a pool table, it could be cars banging into each other, something like that. Um, the two kinds are elastic and inelastic. Now, in any collision, momentum is conserved. It doesn't matter whether it's elastic or inelastic. In an elastic collision, energy is also conserved. In an inelastic collision, energy is not conserved. So that's the big idea here. Energy is not conserved. Well, it sort of is. Here's what I mean. Kinetic energy initial is not equal to kinetic energy final. Okay? The energy that the kinetic energy that you all the, the bodies had that are colliding is not all there when you're done. Okay? Now, this is a physical system. Energy has to be conserved at some level. Okay, and that's true. So if two bodies bang into each other, the one we, we may know the most about or most familiar is think about two cars hitting each other. Okay? When they hit each other, the, the metal that's, that forms the car crumples, right? In fact, cars have crumple zones specifically to absorb energy, specifically to make sure that isn't true. And the reason you want crumple zones is you want the car absorbing the energy so you don't have to, right? Um, think about it this way. You want the car giving its life for yours. I'm completely cool with that. That's what I want my little car doing. Um, so yeah, the energy is conserved, but kinetic energy isn't, right? Now, we, there is, is no such thing as a truly elastic collision. There are approximately elastic collisions. And the thing I happen to have on my desk my uh, sister-in-law gave me this. It's really cool. Um, you, you can see these things. This is called a Newton's cradle. These are little uh, hard metal spheres. And when, when they bang into each other, uh, energy is pretty much conserved. Okay? There's not much energy loss there. It can go through a lot of cycles before it finally dies off. So that's pretty much an elastic collision. Well, there aren't many of those. Most collisions are inelastic. So with this in mind, we're going to go out in the hallway and um, we're going to do a really big league inelastic collision. I'm going to get some help from uh, one of my students. His name is Raj, and he's really cool. Okay, so let's let's pause and let's uh, meet up back out in the hallway. Okay, now it's time to make an inelastic collision. Now this is this is a specific kind of inelastic collision called a plastic collision. There's no rebound at all. Now, momentum is always conserved, but here energy is not. That means that the sum of the kinetic and potential energy right before uh, impact doesn't equal the sum of those two right after impact. So ready? Here we go. Ooh. Okay, so here I am, got the rollerblades, got the helmet, and Raj is over there with that same uh, medicine ball, that same sand-filled ball, and we're gonna have a plastic collision. Hopefully only one plastic collision. The other one will be if I hit the floor. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you turn off now. Oh, that hurt. Now there's basically two flavors of collision. There's elastic and inelastic. Let's let the plane go by. 